Oh, well, stop. I'm telling you, man. You're going to end up down in there. So we got a call for a Jeep Gladiator that is stuck on a trail by Kingman, Arizona. We are on our way to see if we can get it out. We are currently passing Lake Mead via the Hoover Dam. We got Colin back there. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. It's about 55 degrees. It's awesome. We got Colby to swing a camera. Good morning. I'm also going to swing a drone. We'll get him out. All right, we've put about four hours of driving behind us. We're dropping into the valley of Kingman, Arizona. I don't know if there's any kings here, but it definitely looks like Arizona. Remember kids, you always gotta fuel up before a job lest you run out. I, for one, always fuel up before a job, and I never run out. All right, so Caitlin's not with us today, but she did tell us if we were going to Kingman, we had to stop at one of these places. What's the name of this place? Mr. D's Route 66 Diner. Yep, so Mr. Fast. D's. Look at this. Just in case you were wondering where you could get your kicks. I don't know what kind of rules they have for jaywalking in this town, but we're about to break them. Oh, look, Caitlin showed us a picture of this. They do have a bass on the wall, though. There it is, the delicious bass. So if you've ever wondered if your hamburger's dead, at this place, they make sure it is. So in almost every video, I get a comment that says, please try vegan. So today I'm gonna do that. Got a little bit right there. A little bit right here. It's not bad. Huh. You know? These modern kids, they don't know nothing about stuff like this. This is what you share with your girl. If you're sweet on her, you bring her in here, you order one of those, and you share it. That's why it has two straws. Mm. Noted. Like I said, these new kids don't know nothing. So I keep telling Colin that what it looks like is it looks like if you're riding one of those bicycles made for two, but you're riding it all alone. That's what's happening here. Have you ever just got the urge to jump a freight train and see where it takes you? Me neither. All right, we got our breakfast, we got our gas, we got our groceries, and we are on our way to the wild blue yonder. There's supposed to be a pretty new gladiator stuck in a ravine, hung up on some rocks. It's been there a couple days. It's so remote, the customer left the keys in it, he says. So I'm hoping it has wheels on it. I'd like to point out that the last time we did a job like this with this crew, we were... Understaffed, underprepared, and under the gun. So I'm hoping that we're gonna break our streak on this one and accidentally be... Overstaffed, overprepared, and over the gun. arrived so we've arrived at the pin that the customer gave us that said I turned on this road the road is looks primitive should we unload here yes yes definitely this everybody is a trail. everybody thinks we should unload here should we pull is there I need to mm. you just park right there on X off-road also thinks we should unload here so the customer is worried that this is gonna be the most technical, difficult job we've ever done. I'm just got a weird feeling about this job. Yeah, it's been a dirt road most of the way here, so we'll see what that road does to us. Okay, we're headed up this little trail here. Colby is pulling up the Onyx to make sure we stay on track. This is really neat. I've been describing this as a wheeling trip to my crew. Every time I talk about this job, I say, I think it's just gonna be a wheeling trip. Now, like I said, the customer thinks that this was gonna be one of our most gnarly jobs, and we brought the banana. Onyx says this is gonna be a twisty, windy road. The weather's amazing, too. It is, it's awesome. Look how pretty this is. So this is the first like 
full big job that this has been on since we put the transfer case in. Making a weird noise up here. I want to look at it. Not hitting there. Ow. Oh. What's up? So the double carden is about that far away from the floor pan, but sometimes it's that far away from it. So that's the noise we're hearing. It's not a big deal. Okay, I think we're at the bottom now and we just gotta drive up this way. See how this goes. This is what he drove up? I'll show you what that sound is. It's not serious. So we didn't spend a lot of time centering this axle. So it looks like it's too far this way. You can't tell from this though. The way you can tell, this is rubbing right here. It's also cutting up my vent hose, which once again, isn't serious. We just need to get the axle shifted that way, about a half an inch. Onward we go. completely just high centered on a rock because my dad goes look at that Christmas tree I love finding Christmas trees as we're going up this watch I can't help but notice how much this looks like the Rubicon trail we went on that's a fun trip we'd had I agree the rocks here are a lot slicker than Sand Hollow but the trail's pretty basic the banana's just eating it up. I've hopped out and looked at some of the tire marks. We've got super swampers on the ground and then what looks to be some ATV tires. The pin is saying it's right up around this corner. So I'm gonna run ahead and see if I can see it. This really does remind me of the Rubicon Trail. It's super cool. And the water and everything. It's awesome, it's so pretty here. Should be right on top of this pin. There's so much pop right in the rock. So this was plugged off and somebody they dug it out again. Or it's washed out. You didn't see it flash, so it kept going. Oh! You see it? I just spotted it. He's pointed this way. Yeah, it's coming back down. I mean, he could have just got completely fatigued. He could have been in over his head and then just... I'm done. Let's keep going. No new dents. That's the policy. No new dents. Oh, I can see why he didn't want to continue down. Let's go look at this. Wow, oh, this is a stock Rubicon. Can you 
He made it down that. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna get behind you and get you back up on this ledge. And then we don't know and we simply don't care at this moment. There's a better way off of here than he's going. I don't like the way it's going off. Well, we do have to get this out of here. Make me, make me think we should have brought the wrecker. Okay, we're going backwards first. So Colin, you'll be helping, but not spinning. Otherwise you'll spin these rocks up from underneath you. And that'll be no good. So I've got to climb this, which I can. Colin, why don't you drive this up here? That's a good idea. As you come up, you're gonna turn this way and you're gonna end up pointed right here. Send it a little. Don't stop, you're gonna have to bump it. Not a very big send, just a little. Back it up. Do a medium rear bump right there. Go two and a half feet and stop. Okay. Turn that way though. Nice and slow. <laughs> All right, we got to get you turned around. Please don't hit that gladiator. Straighten out, straighten out. Okay, right there, that's where we want to. Seven years later. Okay, jump in this thing, fire it up, put it in reverse, make sure you're in four low. So he's just been depending on skid plates like crazy. I think the best way down is the way that we came up. I think. Back up, I want to look at this whole thing. Okay, I see why he chose this way because it looks less aggressive. But the problem is, is this rock is right in the middle and there's nothing there and there. I really think to get off of this clean, you've either got to drive around this about 45 miles an hour and just high bank it, or we've got to slither off that. Let's try the slither, Colin. I like the slither idea. I don't want to hit that doing 45. What about slithering right here? Left well, a little right there. What, was about what do you think about trying to get this rear end over here and coming off with this more at an angle? Well, I wouldn't go this way. I'd go this way. Let's try it. I like it. You're set up for it. Let's try it. You can turn that way and pull as far forward as you want to, and then kind of back up in that little slot. And then we're going to walk you off of here. I think I got a plan. The thing about plans is there's good plans and there's bad plans. You want to know what we love about plans, though? They always come together? They always come together. We're at the same wavelength here. So here's the deal. There's no good plan. So we're going to come off this easy. We're going to stack rocks. We're going to try to do the least amount of damage possible, but there's skid plates under there and he's been using the heck out of them and we're probably going to use them a little bit. That is long. This is a freight train. Yep. Back right up there. Stop right there for a second. I want to get some of these down where I can use them. Ooh, you, made, you made more. I want all the lockers on now. 
Your wheel's going right here. Okay, stop for a second. I'm stacking some rocks here. I'm gonna build us a nice uh, exit strategy here. It's gonna take some doing. I'm gonna need you to veer slightly um, driver, not much though. Okay, let's see how this works. You like that? I don't know what I like. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Nice and slow, this way just a little. Okay, straighten out just a little. Do not, don't, don't. Well, hang on, stop for a second. Let me assess. Okay, I like that. Rock stacking here. These are working. It's actually not too bad. And then let's put this one here where he can drive on it for the absolute longest time. Okay, that one's gonna go up. That one's good. Gently pull forward. may call the progress. So put that rock there. I'm gonna put that rock there. That one there. Alright. Roll forward. Yeah here we go. That was clean man. Okay, come on down. I don't know where the rear end is at on this. It's beautiful. But... Everything's good. This side looks good. Oh, you're already it's you're already down, man. Okay. Just scrub scrub that side a little bit. That's good. Okay, that side's kind of a little drop. Go real slow here. You can slip off of this. Oh my goodness. That's barely hanging on there. It's about to do it. It's gonna fall. Okay. You're okay, you're just on the hitch. Alright, Colby. Go drive the banana down. Got it. I'm gonna spot. This is gonna be some serious spotting for a little bit. This is a very stock rig. It is a Rubicon which is helping immensely with its capabilities but man it sure would be nice to have some 35s or 37s on it okay stop right here i gotta go get colby colby's a really good wheeler if he's nervous at all it's just because we're so far away and he's in somebody else's rig he's actually pretty good, good? yeah You're gonna to wanna to turn this way as you come down. Okay, just kiss this rock. It's a lot less drama than that thing. Yeah. And there's almost no wrong way to do this. You can straddle it or come on this side. Well, I feel like I'm gonna be walking out of here spotting that and you're just gonna be kind of bored doing whatever it does, only easier. This is not boring at all, this is awesome. I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> Allegedly. On these spots that don't need any spotting, I'm gonna jump in here with Colin. We're gonna ride out. It's already got a cracked windshield. I know. It's got 12,000 miles on it. A Little bit of an off camber here. Look at Colin handle it like a pro. Oh yeah. 
I'm kind of looking straight down out of that window though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spot you through this. I don't want to lose no, 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 no. it. We're good. I got this. I don't want to lose a sidewall. All right, he I, says he's. I have, I have the exact. We have a spare on this thing. Okay, you're gonna want to kiss that round rock right there, and then kiss that next rock. But I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Oh no! Now I want your spot. I just <laughs> for that spot I did. Oh man. Up. He's lead footing it. He's a hot foot. I want you right there. That was beautiful. Jeep wave. You got that thing flexed out of there. Oh, look at that. You're about to hang a tire. Nope. Flex. Turn this way. This way. All right, I'm gonna bring you back in on the next obstacle. We've come to a place, there's a little tumbling waterfall right here. We're gonna let the banana go down that, but we're taking the gladiator safe right here. This is gonna be quite the display. There's kind of no wrong way to do it. I gotta do it elegantly. Okay. Straighten out. Come my way, just a little. That was beautiful, Colin. They say it's funner to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow. It's not the same in the jeeping world. All right, let's see how Colby's doing. rather be in that Colby I'm having a blast this is where I want to be this one's pretty gnarly too so see if we can get him through here turn down way down way way down okay start cutting back just a little not much okay Colin your line is right here you're gonna drive down this and up that got it she's gonna drive right up that right there you're gonna have to drop your front locker in whoa 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 dude your front wheel should have been right here you got whoa whoa stop I'm telling you, man, you're going to end up down in there. Put your front locker on. Okay, start turn, start cutting because you know, you know where the wheel needs to be. Oh, almost too late. Okay, try that. Really slow. Really slow. Keep it cranked this way. You're doing that, right? Really slow. Okay. You're gonna be using that rock slider a little, but that's what it's for. Okay, turn the other way. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, you're looking good. Just keep coming this way. Ooh. Looking good. Well, stop. What, what did we hit? Okay, crank your wheels. Hard driver and just ease on out of that. It's gonna crawl up right now. There you go, beautiful. What do you think, man? Stress level's through the roof right now. This is a nice rig for me to just be scraping along the ground. Yeah, it's not scraping anything important. Stop for a second. So, it's scraping on these right here. Those were already smashed. Wow. Oh, I can't turn left. Nope. We gotta slide that axle over. So another problem with the axle too far over this way, aside from the arm rubbing, is it's made it so the drag link's not positioned right so we can't turn left. It makes it look like Colby's a really bad driver. This is rough. I'm, when I was driving up here with a banana, I thought... Oh, call, hold off. Colin just literally had the same. That's great. 
you look through the banana windshield and you're like, oh, that's no biggie. And then you hop in this thing and I feel like I'm in a Prius. So I was literally opening my mouth to say just that. So I thought he drove up this way. And when I was driving in, I'm like, this isn't that bad. Like this isn't gonna be a big deal. But he came in from the top. Now these obstacles are looking a little bit more aggressive and the banana tricked us into thinking this trail isn't that bad. You just, look at that. No! Look what happened. What? Find a valve cap on this. Let's see if we can stop this air leak. Ah. Okay. Oh, the problem is the valve stem. It ain't coming out of here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Slow, nice and slow. Turn this way. I'm hoping we just shoved it in and we can pull it out and seal it. It looks shorter than the rest of them. That would be great. No, it, it ripped it like that. Okay, let's go get do we have tape? So there's a way to hold this so that it has less. Man, that rock wiped one spot right there, right across the valve stem. I thought they'd be more protected, but I mean, that's what you get for assuming, right? Ah, oh, that's dirty in there. That's never gonna stick. Can you like wrap that up and then wrap? Do a loop around one of the spokes. I just stopped it. Oh, you did. I think. Or I just can't hear it. Oh, it's it is coming out of there. Here. Wrap that thing up. That's unbelievable. Yeah, surgically fix that thing. Look at that. So a valve cap would would work if we could thread it on there. Dude, I wouldn't have believed that. Would you have believed that? No, not a chance. What? I have never heard in the history of the world, I've never heard of patching a leak with tape. I've seen it tried lots of times too. But here we are. Well, now we're just aired down. Not very much, we're not. Okay, I'm going to clean that and put a piece of tape over the whole thing. You saw it here first, folks. The first time duct tape has ever stopped a tire leak ever, ever, ever in the history of the world right here right now on this sandy trail so colin just found this nice specimen of pie right here we're going to take this back to ed so that he can look at it and say wish it was gold this whole area is covered in mines we found one on the way well we found it up there near where he was stuck and we just found another one right here where we fixed the valve stem look at how far back he's going is there, is there a flashlight in the rigs? We have one. Get the one out of the camera kit. I'm gonna go grab it. I'm going in this one. These kids. This is the deal. I spent a whole day up on that hill trying to find Ed's gold mine, and I went in zero mines, except for the one that kind of went under the road. Yeah. That doesn't count. This counts. I'm going in. For all we know, this could be Ed's mine. I, I know he has claims down here in Arizona. Pretty sure this isn't it, but I do know he has claims. Oh yeah, look at those over there. So they're hitting the same vein. Yeah. The river just went through it. Why am I going first? I'll go first. That's the end of it, but so many flies, snakes. Is that mountain lion urine? Is that what we're smelling? Might be. I'm good, that's as far as I'm going. There ain't nothing to it, Colby. Something is not smelling good in I've these. I've never had a mine smell like that. And both of these have smelled that way. I don't know if you can see this. That's pyrite. All through there. And then those two yahoos are gonna go check out. There's a couple of couple of mines right there. <laughs> Try to call the cougars out. 
Wow. I see timbering back there. Yep, yeah, there you go. I think that's a shaft that goes straight down. Holy smokes, there's ladders. Yeah. I'm not gonna walk down there, but. Yeah. That's a glass. And then the ladder goes up to the next tier. That's sick, dude. All right. All right, let's go drive a wing Jeep out. That was worth it. Well, that was awesome. I've always wanted to go on a real mine, but now we have some wounded Jeeps to take care of. All right, now that we got the mine exploration out of the way, it's time to hit the trails. We've got to somehow get them from there to there. It's not as bad as it looks on camera. That never happens. I think he's gonna make it. Jeez. Been out, kind of cut back a little. Not much. You're doing great. That is excellent. See, wasn't as bad as it looked. That line will work. So when you're spotting someone, there's lots of different ways of thinking it. You can spot them the absolute easiest way through, or you can spot a way that's difficult, technical, and looks good. There's also ways that are less attractive to go through. I don't know, there's just lots of right ways to get through something. I'm gonna figure out the right way to get through this instead of just jabbering here. Okay, I think we're gonna want them over here on this side. That's affirmative. But yeah, it's gonna work. Looks good. Good call. Colin's making some good calls on lines. So that's another thing you wanna do. When you first start wheeling ho really hard stuff, it's nice to have a spotter and it's good to have a spotter. But as you advance, you should need a spotter less and less. And what you learn to do is you learn to look down the trail and see what you can't see once you're on top of it and just remember where it is. It's doing very well. All right, looks like Colby's taking the alternate again. Anyway, my point is I'm doing less and less spotting and more and more filming, which is actually a lot of stress off of me. Oh my goodness, this looks terrible. Well, we gotta get through it though. Nice. So this is what's left of the old road they had up here. You see these rocks stuck in the car? When they were running the mines up here, they had to have a road they could get in and out of. So curious, I don't know a lot about this area. In fact, I don't know anything about this area, but I do know that is a man-made road. What's left of it? The banana just kind of does what it wants. You're getting a free gladiator versus video the video none of you ask for but the video you're getting so I've decided that you've seen enough and I've had enough so I'm back in here riding in the old gladiator okay we're keeping an eye on the state of 28 for the power past pressure seven or eight minutes okay yeah we wouldn't have made it out when we're driving it back we're just gonna want to keep our eye on that yeah. all right we're here at the end of the trail the beginning of the next trail this is the last little rough spot here Turn this way. Hard. So this is kind of, like I don't know where all the traffic goes here because that's a pretty established road. That's a very primitive road. And that's not looking any better. But I'm not here to solve mysteries. I'm here to get this Rubicon Gladiator out of here.
right, we've only got about a mile and a half of this and we will be back at the truck. See you there. We made it back to Blue Steel, waiting patiently for the banana to get here. I think Colby's landing the drone and we are out of here. I'm gonna try to find a tire shop. I'm gonna see if we can fix this guy's tire. It's leaking a little bit, I can hear it. Uh, should we put the spare on? It says 28. It says 28, all right, we're good. Beautiful. I'm gonna drive the Gladiator in. I'm gonna to try to find a tire shop, see if we can get that valve stem replaced so that we drop off a good vehicle. And I'm gonna be in blue steel. All right, I was kind of worried about this. The slow speeds of the trail, the tape stayed on fine, but with the wheel spinning faster and the weight of the tape and the fact that it's not designed to do that, exactly we're losing air so i gotta get this jack under here as quick as possible and see if we can get the spare tire put on this get on our way look who we found better go help him do you want to see if we can figure out how to get the spare down so i'm assuming when the customer tried to do their their self-recovery this got compromised and it's compromised okay there we go that's practically that is practically brand new. If I had a thought, see, I'm not a thinker. I'm a reactor. If I had a thought, I'd have changed this tire back there instead of where everybody stops to pee. You know? That's good. All right. Next stop, tire shop. That's fun to say. Big girl. We ran across the street to grab lunch. When we got back, they were done with the tire. Let's go in and pay for it and get out of here. We just gotta find the drop-off location and then we can hit the road. All right, this is the drop-off. Homebound. Here, Ed. I found this out on the trail yesterday. Oh yeah, pyrite for that, Micah. That's what it is, pyrite. Got something else in there though too. Mine. That's a pretty piece. Yeah. yeah. 